Breaking news in the last hour. It's been confirmed by Roshane Thomas of The Athletic that Divine Mubama has turned down. He has rejected a contract extension at West Ham. The club are hoping that he will change his mind in due course. But currently, uh, Divine Mubama is out of contract at the end of this season and will depart East London uh, in June. This is really, really not good news. Um, it's not been a good week for West Ham. Uh, we've had three losses and then some devastating news, uh, which goes on the back of David Moyes. And um, yes, he's had a lot of criticism over the last week. And again, this is another issue um, that fans are frustrated about uh, because quite frankly I do not blame him and I would understand Moyes not giving him the game time that he probably deserves at this moment in time if we had uh, a striker uh, that, or, or you know a couple of strikers that were positively performing uh, and scoring goals and affecting uh, the game. Antonio, look he's going to start in the Premier League, Divine Movam is not going to start Premier League games so let's just shift that. But you've got Danny Ings there who's in his 30s winding down earning over 100 grand a week I believe you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he's on over 100 grand a week. Nicking it. He's absolutely nicking it. We've got Danny Ings there who puts in, you know, and look, it's not his fault, but he's at the end of his career. He's not fit in the system. Devai Mubama has done absolutely nothing wrong. He's done nothing wrong. You know, somebody's put on Twitter, um, I'll reel off the list. He smashed it with the under 18s and the under 21s. He won the FA Youth Cup last year. He impressed in the Conference League. He scored in the Conference League. He had a brilliant pre-season over in Australia. Um, I think he scored a couple of goals and he really um, impressed David Moyes. But still, still in opportunities um, in games where we start, I mean, last Thursday. Yes, maybe the atmosphere and everything might not have been for Divine Mubama out in Greece. But we started Danny Ings up front and you know what you're going to get. What harm would it have done starting the young lad? And who knows, he may have scored and we may have won the game. David Moyes is a stubborn, stubborn football manager. And it's something, there's something deep within him that just won't start Divine Divine Mubama. He didn't even make the bench on Sunday um, against Everton. And arguably, some people would say he's probably the best striker at this football club. I mean, um, I'm angry. Um, I don't blame him whatsoever. You know, I'm angry because of the treatment he's had um, in the last year uh, or so, because he literally uh, on the pitch when it matters, he couldn't have done anything more. He looked head and shoulders. You know, um, I watched a fair few of their games last year. You know, we were at the FA Youth Cup semi-final against Southampton where he was head and shoulders um, again uh, in the final where they beat Arsenal uh, emphatically. Um, and then in the Conference League in games he played uh, last season, he looked positively, um, he, he made a positive impact. He was a player, I mean, he scored that goal over in Bucharest. Yeah, maybe it was an own goal, but you know, let's just put that to the side. Look at the passion um, that was on his face when he scored that goal. He was giving it the irons and everything and he was, he was loving it. Why Moyes couldn't have given him more opportunities when it mattered? Um, it's baffling and it's now resulted in him saying, you know what? I'm not going to get the best for myself here at West Ham. I'm going to reject any contract offer that comes towards me. And that's what he's done. Um, I think it's probably something that uh, has been, um, you know, has been ongoing for a while. But Roshane Thomas, uh, the West Ham correspondent from The Athletic this afternoon, has confirmed that Divine Mubama has turned down the contract extension at West Ham. The forward is entering the final year of his deal, which does not include a one-year option. Discussions remain ongoing uh, with the club and they hope that Mubama uh, will change his mind. I'm just disappointed and angry uh, because there's potential in that player there and we're just going to let another one go. And yes, I, you know, there was a huge uproar about Dean Garner and the rest of it. But um, overall, he's a very good player, isn't he? That's obvious. He's a striker. Um, he has done some excellent things in the youth setup. And yeah, I know there's a big step up between the youth setup uh, and playing first team football in, you know, in European competitions, in cup games, etc. But there's no reason why he couldn't start at Lincoln away. There's no reason why he couldn't start, uh, you know, a couple of the European games as well. Because Antonio's out of form. Ings has never been in form. So any other football manager would go, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. Let's give him a go. Why? Why not? I honestly cannot see uh, what the uh, 
consequences will be for David Moyes if he starts to find Mubama. And this is the result that has now uh, been put on it. And I do not blame Mubama at all, 100%. I'd have done exactly the same thing in his position if I'm any youth player, academy player at West Ham. I mean, those scenes at the end of last year where they won that trophy was absolutely sensational in the Emirates. It was brilliant. Uh, and it was a tight-knit, really good uh, academy. But the chances of any of them making the first team with this manager in charge, it's very minimal. It's very minimal. Declan Rice burst onto the scene when Moyes wasn't manager. Moyes didn't really play him and he came back. And obviously, if we, uh, he was uh, forced to play um, Declan Rice then because he was the best player at the football club. Um, he just he just doesn't like uh, change. He doesn't like using and utilising youth players. Where in the current situation we're in, um, he's probably one of the better options. And listen, you all know my thoughts on Danny Ings. Divine Mubama can literally not do anything any worse than Danny Ings. He cannot, I'm convinced, he cannot do any worse. So Morris has got absolutely nothing to lose uh, on that front. I put it down to stubbornness uh, from the gaffer and it's just frustrating and we're going to lose this player now. Uh, we're going to lose uh, another great talent and yeah, you know, in the past we've been right to sell these players. They've gone on and haven't really done anything. But soon enough, when we let go of these promising players, it's going to come back to bite us on the backside. And I've got a feeling this one might be it because a lot of fans have said it. They've watched him for a long time. He is the mustard. He is the business. Um, he is a sensationally good player for his age. Um, and I mean, yeah, as I said, he's looked head and shoulders above any youth player uh, in the couple of games I've watched. He's just, he's class. He uses class. Uh, and he's a player um, that Moy should have incorporated into a couple of starting 11 so far this season in domestic cup matches and probably in Europe as well. There's absolutely no excuse for it because I'm fed up of seeing Danny Ings starting up front. That's nothing against him, but he's just not up to it. I'm fed up of seeing Danny Ings start up front when you've got Divine Mubama, who's not even making the bench in some games, uh, who is a more obviously a more youthful, um, more energetic and just better quality uh, striker who's got their career in front of them you know give him give him a chance you know he might struggle he may well struggle you know we don't know um but at least give him a chance and it gives an almost surprise package as well because teams know what we're going to do with Danny Ings up front very minimal uh at that uh and yeah I just think it's it's in a frustration um and it's filled you know it's spilled out I mean it's not been a very good week for uh for the fan base uh Twitter's exploded again with this news uh today you know, it's a credible source uh, from The Athletic. Uh, they very rarely get things wrong. And to be fair, uh, I don't think this is wrong because I can see this, you know, this makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, that's a sad state of things with the Academy of Football who doesn't give their academy players a chance uh, in the first team when they're clearly good enough with options that are being consistently used in the first 11 um, that are not up to the standard um, and giving youth players valuable experience uh, would be a lot more than starting Danny Ings up front. We all know that apart from David Moyes. Um, as I said, look, it, at our home, at the London Stadium, on the carpet, uh, there are the words, there's the phrase, the academy of football. Well, we produce good players. Don't get me wrong. We've got some very, very good young talents in that uh, in that academy. But we're also an academy of football um, under this regime, under this manager, I should say, um, doesn't feed them through and doesn't give them uh, the opportunities in the first team that they deserve, uh, which is annoying, frustrating for these players. Um, but. It is what it is, uh, unfortunately. And this is another one uh, that's going to go. And I've got a feeling this one might just bite us on the backside if Divine Mubama uh, runs down his contract and signs somewhere else and gets some game time elsewhere. Uh, but that's it from me. Thank you very much indeed. Rant over. Put your thoughts of this into the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to West Ham Official if you're new. Just to reiterate the news, Divine Mubama's contract ends on June the 30th, 2024. Uh, and at this stage, that's when he will leave. West Ham United because a contract extension has been offered by West Ham um, and it has been swiftly declined by Divine Mubama's agent and his party. Uh, he is not happy um, and he's got every right to be not happy. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.